A South Bay woman is fighting through the paralyzing effects of polio. She got it as a child in China. But as Leonard Maris reports, it's not holding her back from competing in athletics and rising through the ranks of the tech world. So I'm going to switch gear to be in a biking mode. Lebo Myers is about to do what many considered impossible, something her doctors, friends, and for most of her life, even she thought she could never do, ride a bike. So that I won't be tangled with anything. And then, let's see, this is a very lightweight bike. Lebo is a polio survivor. Her right leg is almost completely powerless. Yet somehow, after numerous falls and getting up again, she trained herself how to pedal down the road and climb hills using only her left leg. Still got it. <laughs> My right leg is not giving the power. It's just tagging along. Just tagging along for sometimes epic rides. A few years ago, she completed a 102-mile loop around the Eastern Sierra. It took her more than 11 hours, but she finished. I think everybody has so much potential in them. And... A lot of people underestimated their own potential. You got a lot in you. You got to dig, dig, dig deeper. Lebo has been digging deeper her entire life. She was born in rural China and at 11 months old got polio, which affected her right leg. She can walk with the help of a leg brace designed to help military veterans come back from battlefield injuries. As far as I can remember, I was walking with a limp. So that's basically the polio effect on me. Uh, you can only imagine when you're different in any way. Um, life can be really harsh. I was bullied a lot. Kids would know that if they push me down, it's really hard for me to get up really quickly. They just uh, you know, keep doing that. She fought back against the bullies and then discovered her own superpowers in the classroom. She came to the U.S. in her 20s and earned a master's degree in computer science and a Ph.D. in chemometrics. Today, she's an engineering executive at Apple and a newly published author of her own personal story of struggle and success. The book is called Limp Forward. I picked it because it really resembles not only me, my personal experience that I limp, in all our lives, everybody, in some way, we are all limping forward. Lebo hopes the book can be an inspiration to others, and she has pledged to donate five times the sale of her books to Hope Services, where she sits on the board of directors. I hope people feel less alone when they read my story. Lebo is still setting physical goals. She's training herself how to run. And she recently took up karate to spend more time with her boys. And she's just two belts away from a black belt. I really learned that anything is possible. She admits to surprising herself with some of her personal and professional accomplishments. <laughs> what isn't surprising is that she's never afraid to take up a challenge, even if it's just one step, a karate kick, or one turn of the pedals at a time. That is inspiration. Polio is spread by a virus, but can be prevented by vaccines. Once among the most feared diseases, the World Health Organization says cases around the globe have dropped 99% since 1988.